video, Chris Pollock will show you how to use transfer tape with vinyl masking shapes and applying them to gourds. This video is going to show you how to use the pre-masked material with the masking shapes. So first what you want to do is take your masking shape and just kind of lay on here. And I'm just going to put a little tick mark there and one down here. I'm going to trim this out. And then I just want to check and make sure it's going to cover. And I'm going to then peel. going to be sticky on this side. So I'm going to peel this back. And you want to save this because you can reuse that. And I'm just going to lay it down over the shape. But I want to kind of watch this corner here that I'm not picking up the one next to it. So I'm just going to very carefully trim that back. Stick it to the sheet. Trim this corner as well. Set that aside, and then I'm going to use a credit card, or you can use um, a little squeegee, and we're just going to make sure that it's nice and flat, and as you can see, this is opaque, so I can still see the shape, and I'm going to take and lift the pre-mass tape, and I kind of want to bend both pieces. And it will start lifting the design onto the tape and off of the backing paper. You then want to take your gourd and you're going to decide where you want it. It can go in any angle, up, down, right side up, upside down, however you want. I'm going to place this one like this. Just smooth down the center. And each one of the leaves. And then I'm going to make sure I've got a good adhesion at the stip tip. I'm going to lift this back slowly. And you'll see the material released from the pre mask. Exacto, but I'm going to just kind of push this down here. And pull the rest of the tape off. And it works on the principle that the adhesive on the back of the mask material is stronger than the adhesive on the tape. Then I'm going to take this piece of pre mask tape, because it can be reused, and place it back on the piece that I cut it off with. And then I'm going to just take it with my finger, push down on the transfer, making sure that I've got a good adhesion to the gourd and all the petals. And then I'm ready to do my paint or ink or whatever medium I'm using. Thank you, Chris. And don't forget to check out Chris's website, NorthShoreMI.com. And of course, check out BlueWhaleArts.com for new products.